Hello everyone, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the sample standard deviation. And in this method I'm going to be using the computational formula. And you can see here we have four formulas and these are the, the general steps that we're going to take to, to calculate the standard deviation. Now you don't necessarily need to do step number one in order to calculate the standard deviation when you're using the computational formula. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's, it's a good habit to have uh, to calculate the, the sample mean uh, whenever you're doing any kind of, of analyses or, or descriptive statistics. So you're going to notice a notation change between samples and populations. So for sample we have a little n to represent the number of scores. We have a big M to represent the sample mean. And we have S to represent standard deviation. In addition, you'll notice a difference here in our formulas. Instead of a big N, here we have N minus one. And instead of a big N, here we also have N minus one. So, so those are the main differences, notation differences and slight formula change when you're dealing with samples versus populations. And here we're talking about standard deviation calculation. So let's get right to it. Here we have my x, x variable and here we have our scores. So we're going to go ahead and start filling in uh, what we need to fill in. So here we have n, that's the number of scores. So we have one two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go ahead and write five. Here we have sum of x. We have one plus five plus seven plus three plus four. That's giving us 20 for our sum of x. m, that's the mean. Here we know our formula for the mean is the sum of x divided by little n. So we're going to do 20 divided by 5 equals 4. All right. Now, we have our column here, x squared. So we're going to square each of the x values and put them into their respective rows. So right now, 7 times 7 is 49. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. So x column and then x squared column. You'll see 1 squared is 1, 5 squared is 25, and so on. Our next step is to calculate the sum of x squared. And so the sum of x squared is going to be simply the sum of these values here. So 1 plus 25 plus 49 plus 9 plus 16, that's going to give us 100. Okay, so far so good. So our next order of operations is to calculate our sum of squares. And you can see the formula right over here. Okay, we have our sum of x squared, which we know to be now 100, minus, and in brackets we're going to put the sum of x, which is 20, n squared over n, which is 5. So all the values that all the values in the in these formulas that you need, or all the variables that you need, uh, we we've already um, uh, calculated over here. So that's the point of doing this this step is so so we have the numbers we need to then plug right into this formula. So we have 100 minus uh, 20 squared over 5. So let's just continue on here. 100 minus and then 20 squared is 400 divided by 5. 400 divided by 5 is 80. And then 100 minus 80 is 20. So our sum of squares is 20. Next thing to calculate is the sample variance. The sample variance, you can see the formula right here. It's sum of squares divided by n minus 1. 
So sum of squares we just calculated is 20. And n is 5 minus 1. So we get 20 divided by 4, which equals 5. And now our sample standard deviation is just the root of s squared. Or if you want to expand that, it's the root of ss over n minus 1. And we've already calculated ss over n minus 1, which is s squared, which we know is equal to 5. So I'm just going to put root 5, okay, which then equals about 2.2 .2 approximately. So that, that little squiggled sign there means approximately 2.2. .2. So that's how you calculate the sample standard deviation. Now if you look at my other video uh, that deals with the population, You'll, you'll see those minor differences, and you'll see we do end up with a different value for our standard deviation. And the reason that we have a different value for our standard deviation is entirely because of the n minus 1. Whereas before we divided by just n, here we're dividing by n minus 1, and that is what makes this whole difference. That, 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 that one, 1 less from 5 gives us 4, right? So then 20 divided by 4 equals 5. And that's, this is our, our, first, our first difference between the, the sample, a sample variance and the, the population variance. So check out my other video if you want to uh, see that comparison again. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.